Hybe staff are being investigated and might be sent to prison. BTS's producer reacts to V being replaced. Hybe sues BTS's university and BTS being shadow banned. Watch till the end to find out more. On Thursday, Geffen Records responded to a situation involving one of their employees, which had stirred quite a reaction online. A BTS fan had posted a question on social media asking the record label about pre-ordering BTS Jimin's upcoming single, Smeraldo Garden Marching Band. In an unexpected turn, a Geffen Records employee replied to the inquiry with a Spotify link to Gracie Abrams' song, Us, featuring Taylor Swift and praised it as the song of the year. This response, perceived as unprofessional, sparked anger among netizens and armies, especially since both artists are part of the Universal Music Group. This led to speculation about potential bias and favoritism within the label. Geffen Records clarified in their statement that the employee's actions were unintentional, and both the label and the individual expressed apologies. However, this explanation did not satisfy many fans. They pointed out the deliberate steps involved in responding to the post, arguing that such actions could hardly be dismissed as a mere oversight. Fans voiced their frustrations openly on social media. One fan highlighted the effort taken to find and link the song, questioning the sincerity of the apologies. Another expressed exhaustion from what they saw as consistent undermining of Jimin's potential, demanding not just apologies, but tangible promotion efforts. Additionally, a user criticized the label for not only the initial misstep, but also their general lack of support and promotion for Jimin, urging for more than just minimal acknowledgments. Further criticism came from others who called out the label for failing to promote their artists adequately, describing the apologies as insufficient. The dissatisfaction was echoed by another commenter who noted that proper apologies are fundamental to professional conduct, and the lack of such reflects poorly on the label's professionalism. In their detailed statement, Geffen Records admitted that the employee's post was a mistake that did not align with either the company's or the employee's actual views. They reassured that this breach of their social media policy was being dealt with internally, with additional measures being put in place to prevent future incidents. The statement concluded with a reassurance about the unaffected schedule of Jimin's second solo album, Muse. Despite the label's attempts to rectify the situation with an apology and assurances, many fans remained dissatisfied, focusing on the perceived lack of accountability and ongoing issues with artist promotion. Recently, three individuals working for subsidiaries of HYBE faced charges from South Korean prosecutors for insider trading. The accusation centers around these employees allegedly selling their company shares prior to a significant announcement from BTS about taking a hiatus, which was publicly revealed on June 14, 2022. This announcement had a dramatic impact on HYBE's stock value, causing it to plummet by 25% once the markets opened this drop resulted in a near $1.4 billion loss in market value. According to the prosecutors, the three individuals were aware of the upcoming break announcement and sold their shares to avoid personal financial losses. At a recent press event for the second season of Ginny's Kitchen on June 28th, producer Na PD offered insights into the dynamic roles and contributions of the interns in the show, specifically focusing on the performances of V from BTS and actress Go Min Shi in their respective seasons. Na, PD explained that while both individuals brought their unique charm to the show, their approaches to the intern role were distinctively different. V, during his time on the first season, realistically portrayed the challenges faced by young adults entering the workforce. He enriched the show with his humor and candid display of the common hurdles newcomers encounter, such as adapting to workplace norms and managing initial responsibilities. On the other hand, Go Min Shi, who joined the cast in the second season, brought a different energy to the intern role. She was portrayed as intensely focused on achieving recognition and delivering results during her stint. Na PD emphasized that rather than comparing the two, it is more accurate to say they contributed differently based on the characters they portrayed. The setting of the show, which aims to introduce Korean cuisine internationally, also provides a backdrop for these characters to navigate and learn their roles within a functioning restaurant offering viewers a glimpse into the culinary operations and team dynamics. At the same press conference, the cast discussed various aspects of the new season. Lee Seo-jin, who returns as the owner and CEO, shared his surprise at the surge in customer numbers and profits, especially considering the colder climate of Reykjavik, Iceland, where season two is filmed. 
This was a shift from the first season, which took place in Bacalar, Mexico. Other returning cast members include Young Yumi, who has stepped up from executive director to managing director. Park Seo Joon, advancing from senior manager to director, and Choi Woo Shik, who has been promoted from an intern to assistant manager. Their roles highlight an evolving storyline and character development that mirrors the show's growing success. V, who started his military service on December 11, 2023, was unable to join the second season. Thus, his role was filled by Go Min Shi, known for her performances in popular dramas like Sweet Home and Youth of May. Her addition to the cast as a new intern continues to add fresh dynamics to the show's ensemble. HYBE announced the debut of their new international girl group, Cat's Eye, with the release of their first single titled Debut Last Friday. This track features a lively and catchy melody, perfect for the summer vibe, embodying a strong sense of confidence which mirrors the group's dynamic presence. The single was brought to life under the guidance of BTS's choreographer and HYBE executive director, Son Sung Duke, who managed the group's overall performance. Adding to the creative mix, the music video was directed by Gregory Orell, renowned for his directorial work on Selena Gomez's Love On. Cat's Eye is composed of six talented finalists from the global audition, The Debut Dream Academy, which took place in Los Angeles. This event was a collaboration between HYBE and Geffen Records, a prominent US record label. The group members hail from diverse backgrounds, including Sophia from the Philippines, Yunche from Korea, Manon from Switzerland, and the US trio, Lara, Megan, and Daniela. Looking ahead, Cat's Eye has a busy schedule with plans to release a second single in July, followed by an EP in August. Moreover, they are set to perform at Kakon LA 2024, which will be held from July 26 to 28, marking another significant milestone in their burgeoning career. On June 28, BTS Jimin unveiled his new single, Smeraldo Garden Marching Band, setting a remarkable pace in the music industry by becoming the fastest song of the year to hit number one on iTunes across 100 countries. This achievement was closely followed by its success on the United States iTunes Top Songs chart, where it claimed the top spot on the very first day of its release. The track, co-produced and co-written by Jimin, along with collaborators P-Dog, Ghost Loop, and Evan, who also appeared in the track's music video, achieved international success by topping the charts in 100 countries within just three hours and 50 minutes. It established a record as the first non-English and first Korean song to achieve this feat on iTunes. Notably, it reached number one on the US chart in only two hours, surpassing the record set by BTS members Jungkook and V with their respective tracks. Smeraldo Garden Marching Band serves as a vibrant prelude to Jimin's upcoming solo album, Muse scheduled for release on July 19th. The single introduces a lively and spirited sound, a contrast to the more flamboyant and metallic beats of his debut solo album, Face. The new track offers a preview into Muse, which is themed around concepts of love and inspiration. The music video features Jimin performing live with a brass band, bringing an energetic and colorful visual experience. Loco, along with producers P-Dog, Ghost Loop, and Evan, Join as musicians, enhancing the lively ambiance. The song also pays homage to the iconic British band The Beatles, drawing inspiration from their albums. The term Smeraldo holds a special place within the BTS universe as a fictional flower introduced by the group in 2013, symbolizing various thematic storylines across their music and videos. Despite his current military service obligations in South Korea, Jimin's return to the music scene with this record-breaking single has garnered significant praise from notable publications like Billboard and Rolling Stone. Even though the members of BTS are currently fulfilling their mandatory military service, they continue to engage their fans with new releases, such as Jimin's latest track. Fans, however, have raised some concerns regarding the viewing statistics of the song's music video on YouTube. As of the latest update, the video has garnered over 4 million views and 1.1 million likes. This like-to-view ratio, which stands at approximately 25%, is considered unusually high compared to other videos on the Hybe Label's YouTube channel. Some viewers have speculated that the timing of uploads might be influencing Jimin's video performance, noting that Hybe Labels released three videos almost simultaneously. This could potentially split the attention and views among the multiple releases. Moreover, 
there are concerns among the fan community that YouTube might be shadow banning BTS. Shadow banning refers to a reduction in content visibility without any overt signs of blocking, which can affect how content is interacted with on the platform. Fans suspect that the lack of advertisements for BTS's videos could be a factor negatively impacting their visibility and engagement on YouTube. This suspicion points to possible alterations in how YouTube's algorithm is handling the views and interactions for BTS content. On a recent Saturday, a TikTok live session featured OK Sun, one of the backup dancers from Jimin's latest music video. During the session, OK Sun responded to a viewer's inquiry about his experience working with the K-pop star. He praised Jimin's kindness and approachability but highlighted the limited personal interaction, attributing it to the professional atmosphere of the shoot. He mentioned that he focused primarily on his role, enjoying the company of many other dancers which made the experience fun. OK Sun is also known for his work on other K-pop projects, including BTS Suga's Hey Gum and J-Hope's Chicken Noodle Soup. On June 28, Big Hit Music announced on Weverse its decision to initiate legal proceedings against several entities accused of defaming BTS. This action targets specific YouTube channels as the Global Cyber University, where BTS members have studied, accusing them of misusing BTS's intellectual property. The notice from Big Hit Music highlighted its plans to pursue both civil and criminal lawsuits against these entities, as well as others accused of falsely claiming that BTS engaged in chart manipulation. The company has already issued warnings to Global Cyber University regarding the unauthorized use of intellectual property. Fans of BTS expressed their support for these legal actions on various social media platforms, appreciating the company's transparency and firm stance in protecting the rights of BTS members who are currently fulfilling their military service duties. One user noted the significance of big hit music, naming the alleged violators directly, interpreting it as a sign of serious legal intentions. Another pointed out the longevity of legal processes, stressing that such actions require time and patience. Furthermore, in statements released in April and May 2024, Big Hit Music clarified that BTS and its members are in no way connected to Body and Brain, a group that had unlawfully used BTS's intellectual property. They emphasized that any rumors linking BTS's lyrics or activities to Body and Brain are baseless. The company also demanded that Global Cyber University cease using BTS's intellectual property without permission and reported that it had taken steps to have infringing content removed. Big Hit Music reassured that it had been diligently collecting evidence against those spreading false rumors and defamatory comments about BTS, contributing to the legal complaints filed. The company is committed to ensuring that those responsible are held accountable, no matter the duration of the legal process. They have continued their efforts by adding more complaints against such violations and have forwarded multiple cases to the prosecutor's office for action. The allegations of covert chart manipulation and unethical marketing practices were also addressed, with Big Hit Music firmly stating these claims as completely unfounded and unrelated to BTS. The company is not only continuing with its criminal and civil actions against the YouTube channel Sojong, first sued in 2022 for slander and business obstruction, but has also pushed for a resumed investigation and additional legal actions, seeking damages for defamation and other illegal activities. The South Korean island of Jeju, renowned for its scenic beauty and cultural attractions, has become a hotspot for Chinese tourists, partly due to its frequent visits by the members of BTS. These visits are well-documented, enabling travel agencies to create tailored tours for fans who wish to follow in the footsteps of their idols. Key attractions include a selection of hotels and a Buddhist temple, adding to the allure for travelers. The allure of South Korea extends beyond Jeju, influenced by popular Korean TV series, which also attract visitors. Enhancing the travel experience, Chinese nationals benefit from visa-free entry to South Korea for up to 30 days if they are transiting to a third country, simplifying the journey. From January to April this year, the influx of Chinese tourists to Jeju has seen a significant increase, surpassing the total visitor count of the previous year, as reported by the Jeju Tourism Organization. This surge is part of a broader trend of increased travel from China to South Korea, following the easing of travel restrictions and the availability of affordable flights. According to the Korea Times, there was a four times increase in Chinese tourists during these months compared to the same period in 2023, with over one million visits recorded, 
marking the highest number from any country as per China's Xinhua News Agency. South Korea's appeal to Chinese tourists has been growing, with the country becoming the second most popular foreign destination for these travelers last year, just behind Japan, according to Forward Keys. The proximity of South Korea allows for short, economical trips, which are particularly appealing given the economic uncertainties in China. Direct flights from major Chinese cities like Beijing and Shanghai to Seoul are competitively priced, around 180 for a round trip. Visitors typically explore well-preserved historic sites in Seoul, and elements of K-pop and Korean drama culture are popular topics on Chinese social media. Urban areas with shopping, entertainment, and dining options are also frequented by tourists who prefer staying close to amenities. South Korea's mix of pop culture, lifestyle attractions, themed cafes, and diverse landscapes, coupled with its culinary offerings, make it an attractive short travel destination. The city of Busan on South Korea's eastern coast is also looking to capitalize on the tourism boom. Local officials like William Cho of the Busan Tourism Organization are advocating for more direct flights from China to boost tourism to the city's beaches, railways, and coastal temples. Currently, flights to Busan from China are limited, and tourists often visit after exploring Seoul if they are willing to undertake the additional two-hour train journey. This resurgence in travel comes after several disruptions over the past six years, including travel advisories issued by China in 2017, following South Korea's deployment of a U.S.-designed missile defense system and the impact of the coronavirus pandemic, which severely affected bilateral tourism until travel rules were relaxed in August last year. As of mid-June, there has been a notable presale of flight and hotel bookings by Chinese travelers to South Korea, indicating a continuing interest. However, Forward Keys predicts only a modest 11% year-on-year growth in arrivals from China from June to August. Specialists like Wendy Zhao of CN Booking have noted that while there is an uptick in arrivals, the growth has not met expectations, expressing hope for a more robust increase next year, possibly buoyed by the summer vacation period.